These attempts at ripping Nintendo off are just plain embarrassing. Let's go! I'm so excited for this one. Oh, me too. Whenever we make an episode about the worst box art, the worst whatevers, it's always the best. It's always the most fun episode to film. Yes, and we're just going to be lambasting these attempts at these poor, sad companies that have no creativity and that just want to cash in on Nintendo's success. Yeah. So and these are the worst Nintendo knockoffs. Yes, the worst Nintendo knockoffs. And the best part is the names. Yeah. So what what's this one called? Oh, well, of course, it's the Game Child. <laughs> what? It's like a Game Boy. Oh, that's so bad. So this is the Maxim Game, game Child. The Game Child. Yeah. And I like how it has one button. <laughs> <laughs> There's, you know, the off, on, start, yeah. and... ACL Axel. accelerator. I guess oh. I, I don't know, but then there's wow. plates, level, and fire <laughs> is one button. I don't know what plate. Oh, player. Play. Sorry, <laughs> not plates. It's kind of fuzzy. Just imagine the great times you're gonna be having with that one button. The, oh yeah, that game child. So awesome. So this is the this... sport V. I remember this thing. <laughs> Making headlines like yeah. people when the Wii came out, people were trying to find the Wii's, right? And so they ordered the V, <laughs> so V I I. That's literally like the Nintendo's um, font too. They just cut yeah. out half of that W to make the V. Yeah, it's really clear. Everything looks so bad. It's it's so bad, but it is so similar. Like it looks like a clay fighter. <laughs> the Wii, the Wii itself. Yeah. Is literally the same thing except right. the cover of the flap they decided to turn black. Right. Unless that's the sensor bar. Oh. No. If it needed a sensor bar, it probably didn't. Probably not. It's probably a just a <laughs> TV player. Here is what in a, the world? I can only assume this is Mexican, and that's not racist of me to say. First of all, explain that. If it was racist, it would be coming out of Simeon's mouth. <laughs> and second of all, I've I've just seen these myself. This, oh my the, these are in all the uh, Mexican tourist cities. Oh yes, the piggy banks that are made after what's popular in America. So I, I love the M. Yeah, the M on the green hat. I didn't notice. That. <laughs> you didn't notice that. The M. I love how it's oh, Luigi's head on a Goomba. <laughs> and the Goomba doesn't even look sad. He looks like really happy. Yeah. It's the happiest little Goomba oh, right oh there. Oh my goodness. This is great. That's what you want to put your savings into. Okay, this is a game. Oh. Era's Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you clearly see that that is Era? Yeah. <laughs> I love Era. Yeah. Mario's green uh, dinosaur companion that looks extremely lifeless. Uh, and it's apparently an Android game oh, and man. has a time limit on it. <laughs> now, I've never seen oh, man. a Mario game. The cheeks are already getting sore, like... so, man. <laughs> okay, and there are other characters in this game that I found oh, yeah. photos of uh -huh. that look equally lifeless, but their eyeballs are like diamond shaped. Oh. I don't know uh, and his pals period and decade <laughs> <laughs> yes an epic yes all right enough of oh, you oh that's so bad oh the weenie <laughs> the weenie <laughs> the weenie sports <laughs> weenie sports <laughs> why weenie team weenie game sports weenie game sports <laughs> This is this is so bad, people. Yeah. This is why looks like you get two uh, two, two weenie mo <laughs> weenie votes. Uh, That's a deal. You get forty eight of something. I'm guessing it's games. Maybe. Looks like games, but Maybe. hopefully it's not forty eight weeks. It's 48 Wii covers. 
I quit. I quit. You can't quit. I need I you qu here. <laughs> because because they didn't originally ship it out with those. Right. And I needed to <gasps> to do. <laughs> oh. Don't you love how one of them's like leaning up? I don't know, man. It's like literally both of those are the size of the console. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. The <laughs> weenie. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh I, wow. I love this one. The Neo Double Games. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's one game on the top and one game on the bottom. Wow. One is Street Fighter. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, wow. I remember having... Uh, you know those stupid tiger handheld yeah. games. I have one of the Street Fighter tiger handheld game. Really? And then licensed? Yes, licensed. Okay. It's official. So I wonder if this is. Well, the top screen really reminds me of something I used to have, which was oh. a virtual reality Power Rangers game, oh, which was basically goodness. a tiger handheld that you strap oh, onto your face. your face. But it did have a little bit of motion control. Like if you really shook your hand, <laughs> you could do a punch. And that's exactly what the bad guys looked like. <laughs> it's right. literally the same game. They just changed yeah. the name Soccer Seriously. into Power Rangers. Yep. All right. Oh, man. So this is oh, the yes. ever popular mall kiosk Nintendo 64 set up with a Sega Genesis controller and a gun. And oh my I used to see these things in malls all the time. I wanted one of these so bad. Well, you didn't have an N64, and this probably looked like a good deal, because it's, you know, kind of the same approach as, like, the NES Classic is today, mm -hmm. which is it comes built in with a bunch of these games. You can see Star Wars in there and stuff. Mm -hmm. And none of this was official. None of, like, no. I know that now. Back then, I didn't know that. If I see another one of these, I'm going to approach these people, and I'm going to be like, what are you doing ripping off Nintendo's intellectual property? Like... You can't make these things. I love... I'll get I, it on video. Yeah, get it and, and post it. Yeah. Um, I love how, from at least from this angle, you cannot see the orange piece on the gun. Yeah. Because toy guns right. have to have the orange piece. Yeah. It literally looks... I mean, obviously, if you look closely, but if somebody's walking down the street with yeah. this, as long as it doesn't have, like, a cord hanging out from it... Like the N64... You're going to get... Back. You're going to get shot by a police officer if you're carrying this game system around, basically. Yes. Get that thing orange. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, this is the Pegasus. Um, really? And it, <laughs> this thing, it plays Famicom games. Mm, yeah. That must be legal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, I can't remember, is it this one? Yeah, oh, oh, sorry, this is called, it has the, the word Pegasus on it, but it's called the Golden China TV Game, <laughs> and it's from South Africa. Oh, yeah. So let me get this what? straight. They made this in South Africa. They called it the Golden China TV Game, yes. and they printed the word Pegasus on it? And it plays Japanese games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever said that Mario was the most culturally culturally diverse <laughs> Thing in the world has never seen the Pegasus Super Chinese game. All right, Simeon. Here's the Wii. Wee! Do you want to know what the Wii is, Simeon? What is it? It's a DVD player. <laughs> Isn't that no! awesome? Yeah. No. Yes. Look, look, I'll prove it to you. Mini DVD player. Yeah. Wii. Wii. So, Wii. Do, you, do you have a Wii to go with your Wii because your Wii doesn't play DVD players? Right. Oh, but my Wii does play DVD <laughs> players. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, that, golly. That's this, the bottom of the barrel. Worst companies ever. Do you... Uh, these Wii Rip Pops, they remind me of the stupid jokes that we would come oh, up yeah. with when the name was announced. And, yes. Around the time that the Wii was released, you know, the Wii Wii, you know, right. they pretend to be French. Oh, oh, oh. Wii. All right. The Wii Wii, there it is. <laughs> Wii Wii. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> I don't understand. So, obviously, they're ripping off the branding. Yeah. Obviously, they're ripping off the Wii remotes. It looks like they're even ripping off the classic controller. But I tell me yeah. what's going on with the console. This thing stands it's up sideways, and you put the cartridge. cartridge. <laughs> what? <Sideways. laughs> that is. That's the worst console I've ever seen. 
you know, but <laughs> cartridges. So- such a bad thing. Like, I can imagine, like, loading it in sideways or it even sticking out sideways, but not like this uh, and like this. Right. That's literally the worst combination of directions you try that to you play. can do. You're like, I want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Until it goes up against the wall. Right. Oh, so imagine good. a one, one-armed person trying to play this. Right. <laughs> they would never be able to get to playing That's it. so dumb. They would have to, like, knock their console down and then put the game in and then, like, turn it back up. At least, again, with this knockoff, you're going to get two weenie motes. <laughs> weenie <laughs> motes. <laughs> All right. The game theory admiral. Oh, yes. The game theory. Right. Uh, now, Not what... to be confused with the game theory YouTube channel. Indeed. Once again, we have... The primordial ooze <laughs> defect yes. making a comeback. Right. Good thing they moved the start and select from the right side to the left side, though, because we wouldn't want this to get confused no. with the Game Boy Advance. Absolutely not. Right. It's one again. Once again, it's probably one of those liquid crystal games. Right. But you look at this, and you look at like a Game Boy Advance. This is like pretty close to being sim- similar. Yeah. Totally. Even the font. Right. It's literally the same font, just right. different words. I know, buddy. I know. If you're gonna so re- if you're gonna knock up Nintendo, like go ahead and use their patented D pad. Like what do you Yeah, what seriously. Are you just go to, no shame. Just go to jail for it, okay? <laughs> Alright, so here is Dino and Martin <laughs> the toy. Which... No, you mean Era. <laughs> Era and Martin. Wait. Era and Luigi. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Funny Dino and Martin. <laughs> that's um, not, that, that was not Dino, that's Funny Dino. He, he looks like he's gonna destroy you though. Right. It looks like an evil, like. It's like what I looked like before this shoot. You know, I was having yeah. allergies in my eyes. Yeah, it was allergies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I love it when a toy or anything yes. has to describe itself with an adjective in its title. Right. Like. <laughs> Like, you know, the Super Nintendo, you know, that's great. That's a good idea. But it wasn't called, like, the Fun Nintendo no, right. or, like, the Awesome Nintendo. Or the Entertainment System. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. It wasn't called the Entertaining Entertainment System, though. True. Which it could have done. You can bump and go with this one. Like, this funny toy. Funny Dino and I love Martin. At least as an M. Right. <laughs> it's like they have the, the red... Oh. Mario with an L on it and yeah. his name's Martin. That would be worse. <laughs> Alright. The the wool <laughs> Why the we people? You know, we has had enough a hard enough time with its name, okay? <laughs> Why do you oh. destroy its name worse? And if you're gonna make your thing the W L L why not use lowercase L's? Because that's what yeah. you really want. No. You yeah. want people to get it confused. So why'd you use uppercase Whoa. L's? That doesn't even, you can't pronounce that. And I don't even know what this is. Yeah. Like, really, it's I think it's probably a, a thermometer? Pregnancy test? It, it, maybe it's a pregnancy test. Because it that screen is so small. It's got to be one of those tiger liquid crystal games. But that is so dumb. If it were a pregnancy test, what would it stand for? The womb life? locator yes (laughs) the womb life locator people all right (laughs) and finally drum roll please okay this thing is actually impressed me okay so this is uh something now i can't remember the name of it it's the jin jing digital jxd s7 300 b gaming tablet (laughs) now this thing actually looks legit like Mm. it's clearly a ripoff of the wii u gamepad right but it's thinner it's sleeker it plays android games okay so you can connect to the android store or whatever it looks pretty nice to hold pretty it looks pretty nice to see to look at, I mean, mm-hmm. um, I will point out that you might not remember this, but like the original Wii U gamepad design had circle pads instead of joysticks. Really? That's how it was revealed at E3. Wow. That's how I played it. And then uh, Nintendo got a lot of feedback that it'd be nice to have actual joysticks, and they changed it. So, so they dropped the patent, and these people picked it up. I bet that this went into development right after E3 2011. That was That's probably my guess. my guess too. Oh, wow, that was a fun trip down uh, uh, 
Uh, <laughs> Jane claim. This is so bad. The V. The wee wee. The wee wee. The wee. The wee. The wee. And the we. The we. Did and, you the, say that? and the W L L. Yes. The wool. The wool. The womb life locator. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't get much better than this, does it, guys? I'm, you know what? Next time I boot up Era and Martin, yes. I'm going to be... Or, you know, Martin's... Martin World to... Martin's Funny World. Uh, Era's Adventure. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're just really thankful that we don't laugh at these things alone. We laugh at them with you. So thanks for being yes. part of the crew, everybody. Don't forget to share the laughs with your friends. Yeah. And share... Share with your friends. Don't be fooled by these knockoffs. I mean, some of these are obvious, but some people get tricked by them. Whew. PSA to all of you. See you guys next time. Sign me out.